Hi, my name's Tim at Slide Dynamic, and this is just an overview, some insight, a bit of a demonstration about how you configure the um, the auto player or the auto start Prezi for an offline version, where you want to uh, accurately control how long the Prezi um, pauses in between each point in its path. Obviously, Prezi uh, does this really well; it's really cool, uh, but you can't control if you want it to remain at a certain point in the Prezi for longer. Um, it's hard coded. Anyway, so we've built an application that allows you to do this both online. Uh, I've done a video for that already. This is the offline version. So just to explain, it only takes a moment. So if you download the Prezi that you've created, mine I'm not proud of, it's pretty poor, but it demonstrates the point. And if you open the compressor folder, you'll see three things, a data folder, a Prezi.app folder, and a Prezi.exe. Just need to well, you don't have to delete it, but I'll delete it for the purposes of this. By the way, there's nothing that you add to the Prezi here um, when you're authoring or editing it. This is uh, absolutely something completely separate. Then uh, you get hold of the, and I cannot spell, the Prezi Auto Player application we built. And there's just two files. I'll just copy those in. As long as they reside in the same directory as these two folders, it works. So there are two things here. One is the, um, the flash file that's going to play the Prezi, and there's a thing called an XML file. Uh, you don't need to worry too much about that. I'll explain why in a minute. And that controls how you control um, the time it remains at each point in Prezi's path. We have a more elegant way of doing this for the online version with a, um, a configuration form, but this one, unfortunately, we don't yet. So um, basically, if I just go ahead and just double click this as if I'm at a conference or an exhibition, it will also start and then it will play through Prezi based on the times that are within the XML file that I just mentioned. Now, I'll close that down for a second. I'm just going to open this and show you what it looks like. It literally is just this. It just says times and it just gives you some numbers. Each of these denotes how many seconds in that point in the path. Obviously, mine has 11 points in its Prezi path and I've put four just for the purposes of demonstration. Yours will obviously have less or more, and you just delete or add to these numbers to do so. So, um, if I just go back and replay that a second. So you'll see that this will load automatically, and while people are wandering by at your conference, this will obviously progress through its path, remaining at each point for four seconds. Um, if at any point you want to come to a part of Prezi and you want it to remain there longer, uh, you can control it, and I'll explain why. If you go into this again, and we will put 15 seconds at this point, on the fifth point in Prezi's path, and hit save, and hit close. Now, if I restart it, so I know this is a bit laborious, but there is a point. So it will transition through four seconds at each point in Prezi's path. But at the point when it comes to the fifth node or the fifth uh, part of Prezi's uh, design, it will actually stop, it will remain and stay there for longer. And this might be useful if you're here and you're playing a video or there's more complex information you want to show. Um, and it will remain. Obviously on a video this seems an age, uh, but it will then obviously carry on. You can also pause it if you prefer to. You have access to all Prezi's controls. Uh, so you can go and do whatever you want, and then you can restart it. Um, obviously your Prezi will be bigger, better, more complex, uh, but it does offer you that control as it progresses through its path. Anyway, I hope it was useful. Um, we'll have a demo that you can download and play with, and I'll put a link to that for you to uh, look at if you're interested in the uh, description of this YouTube video. Thanks very much.